today I'm here at EMO 2025 on the TRAG International Stand and we're going to find out how they are leading the way in tombstone work holding. Now, Beard, before we start and talk about the product we have in front of us, yep. can you give us an introduction into yourself and what you do for TRAG International? Yeah, actually, I'm the founder and owner of the company and we started about 35 years ago as a 1st of April, like a 1st April joke. Wow. So <laughs> you've been still going, alive, yeah. You've been going for a long time. Yeah. So you true. must have seen work holding change throughout the years. Absolutely, yeah. When we started, uh, our uh, other uh, companies in the market were a little bit smiling to us, but we, we had always the idea to bring out a modular system like a I always like to play Lego, so I, I wanted the Lego Vice, actually. See, I love, I love that, and I like how it's on your website as the Lego Vice, because you can build anything you need to make you as productive as possible. Yeah, exactly. Actually, we try to give the customer the, uh, the possibility to use his full envelope of a machine to, to get the full space used in a, from his investment in the, in the machine. So is that just to help them be more productive and to help them, say, start lights out running? Yeah, this and also to, to keep the machine running unmanned at night. That's the, the big goal, even mixed production. So, Beard, can you tell us about what we, what we stood behind here? Because this looks brilliant. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's something really new. We just produce it for the EMO, and it's the space grip itself we do since many years. There are different sizes, but this particular one is uh, made from epoxy. So the epoxy gives you the advantage of uh, killing vibration. So its, it's dampening effect is very good. Uh, compared to aluminum, for example, it's 100 times better. And the other very big advantage is the weight. If you use this in cast iron or steel, you have much more weight to carry. And this is always a problem with CNC machining because the machines, they want to show how fast they are. They have to carry the weight. And this is similar to me and you. <laughs> it's not good for the bones <laughs> or no. the, the gearings. <laughs> no, I know the feeling. <laughs> Same with the CNC machine. So no. why did you take the idea of using epoxy because we see a lot of other manufacturers using, like you said, aluminium. So how did you develop this and realize that epoxy was so much better? Again, a hundred times is a massive yeah. difference. It was actually a little bit luck. I went to a customer, he bought the new Masek and he had a problem with the old machine because he used aluminum tombstone. So he had to run three programs a morning lunch even in program because of the thermal movement wow. and the vibration of course in the upper level of the of his uh, epoxy uh, tombstones it was always vibrating so he asked me if i have an idea because cast iron was too heavy for the machine and so i suddenly i went to visit the uh, machine manufacturer steinl at that time this is more than 20 years ago and then they explained me the material because they use this material for the machine bed. Like today, there are many, like Hermley or whoever. And on the way back, I had the idea, oh, why don't I use this material? So I went to this customer, told him my idea. He said, okay, give me five years warranty. And we did it. Today, he has more than 100 pieces of uh, epoxy tombstone. See, that's amazing <clears throat> to me how a customer asked for a solution that didn't exist and you mm -hmm. found a way to make it. And now it shows that with over a hundred of these on his shop floor, yeah. that it really has took off and worked. So yeah. we've talked a lot about the tombstone, but what about the vices on it? Can you tell me about the vices? Cause mm -hmm. you were saying before that you don't mm -hmm. need to pre-stamp either with your tooth and heat treating technology. Yeah, that's correct. Because you know, Switzerland is very expensive. So we don't look for extra work in our shop. So we don't like to go pre-stamp or make any dovetail or something like this. So we just go, grip the material, the blank, clamp and run. And we run during the day. We do only the setup. So we don't 
We finish one part when it's okay. We don't do the second one during the day. Maybe lunchtime, yes. Or then in the evening, the second part. In the first night, the second. Third night, the third part. So the machine is running unmanned with mixed setups. Well, Beert, I would like to say a big thank you to you because it's amazing to see how a customer <clears throat> came with a problem and you found a solution and then took that solution to help customers be more cost effective and be more flexible with what they have. So from yeah. me and everyone <laughs> at MTDCNC, thank you for your time today. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing more of these in the UK. Yeah. Okay, I, <laughs> I look forward for that too, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much.